one thing that we have in common at least is like knowing our sound and like you know balancing microphones and bullshit like that you know yeah hell yeah fucking because you know like when you see someone with a blue yeti you're just like man get the fuck out of here dude it's <laughs> like there ain't no way you're you're like recording shit with that i mean it's all right it's a good starter don't get me wrong but like oh man it just be collecting dust in my room now. Like, honestly, I probably should use it more. Like, I told myself I was gonna do more gaming videos, but uh, like, I don't know. It's really hard for me to like sit down. Like, only time I can really sit down is like if I'm like hella distracted on something. Like, I I, I gotta get it done. Um, I don't feel like, I don't really feel that way toward like videos anymore. Like, I used to when I was like a kid. I used to make like hella videos when I was a kid, like fucking Minecraft and like Call of Duty and shit. <laughs> now it's just like uh, music, music, music. You playing Minecraft, you said? <laughs> Shit, bro. I used to be playing the fuck out of Minecraft. Like, um, let's say, like, from, like, 7th grade. Or like, what was it say? Like, 2013 to, like, 20... Like, 20, 2015. All up until the point about, like, the time I got some pussy. <laughs> it was up then, like, once, once you had the pussy, you know, you knew it was... You know, it was over. Life shit. That's funny oh. as fuck. But yeah, I guess we're gonna just, like, kind of start it right now. Whoa. Okay, hold on. I mean, shit, if you want to get it like that, bro, let me... No, let me I'll okay. get all genuine. I ain't got no no intro or nothing. This will probably just go up on uh, YouTube or something like that. But, you know, welcome to the podcast, first episode. I'm Yo. gonna I'm gonna actually be honest, like, real quick. Uh... I recorded one, like, I want to say two two years ago, maybe, mm-hmm. and uh, and when I recorded it, I sat down with another homie, and, uh, hold on, speaking of which, talk. Yo. Keep talking. Okay. Um. Audio capture is good. Okay, I got you. I'm in this hole, I'm in this hole. Hey. Yeah. Yo. You're good. <laughs> what happened? I we sat there had a whole ass flushed out conversation deep as fuck and it didn't capture any of the audio. I had the fucking stream audio muted. Oh fuck, really? Yeah, and so we wasted like two hours or an hour of our time. <laughs> I I want to say it's a, a wasted time. I mean, oh no, shit. It didn't waste time, definitely. It was, it was definitely a two hour lesson that you had to learn, though. You oh, know what I'm no. saying? Yeah. <laughs> That, I guess, like, that's kind of, like, what brings me, I, I'll get to, like, you know, one of the first, I guess, topics at hand is, like, you know, being, like, creators and everything, like, you know, you, like, with your music and, like, me with, like, my videos or, or this podcast right here, uh, you know, I, I fucking, we have those hiccups, you know, or, or, like, that, that bad song or, or, like, you know, we fuck up, like, and we don't capture our audio or some shit have you ever had one of those happen to you oh all the time bro all the time it's and it's all you know it it sucks too because it's like always when you just like you only notice it when you were really like going in you know what i'm saying yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah, yeah. it's it's unfortunate when like you be ready to like get some shit done and Mm -hmm. then you're like oh shit i wasn't recording like Mm -hmm. And then it's something like the mic wasn't plugged in and then you gotta go back and figure that you know what i'm saying like it's always some bullshit yeah oh proper introductions uh you know this is my boy right here this is uh tico tell him tell him about yourself bro a little bit yo yo it's good Drop i'm tico i go by I, I go by chillian um fucking upcoming artist out of fort way um i mean i'm here with my boy nick I'm fucking with the high school you know nicky j out here fucking doing this thing out here looking fly to motherfucker um man we just posted up on a, a motherfucking snow day here in texas talking that shit yeah. so uh Snow. First, let's get the basic shit out of the way. I mean, since we're right there, dude. Snow in Texas, like, I will say, like, this is the second year that it's happened, like, consecutively, right? Yeah, shit. It's, yeah. Cause it happened last year, and uh, and it was just fucking. I think it was weird that like. I don't know, we don't, it's not, like, normal for us to, like, get snow type shit, you know? So, like, 
I don't know. It's just the the fucking. Do you realize? How, you remember the wreck that we had last year? Oh, that shit was horrible. It's talking about like when they had like a hundred. I was like, yeah, it was like a hundred cars like piled up in Fort Worth or some shit, bro. It was a hundred cars piled up, and it was like on a. It was on like. I can't remember what highway it was, but like semis weren't stopping. It was like terrible. I don't know how many people, you know, died, but like, I haven't heard anything yet like that happening now. So, but like, you know, be careful to anyone fucking driving out there in the snow when you're from Texas, because apparently we aren't built for it. Hell no. Hell no. That's the sad, that's the sad truth. And, and you know, like, that's, that's, that was like the sign, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just signs to things when you, when you realize that, uh, something like catastrophic is about to happen. Like, there's just always something drastic that starts it up. Uh, what what uh, what fucks with me really is like the uh, the the fact that like, well, we've had I don't know. Growing up, do you remember like ha- like getting snow here? Like you gr- did you you grew up in Texas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shit, nigga, I, I fucking. Grew up like a, a couple of streets up from you on the cool. Oh no, I no, I well, I didn't, I don't know that. Like where I actually live now. Uh shit, back where like, you used to stay back in the day. Yeah, uh, like I don't Keller. know if you. Yeah, like yeah, over yeah. by like, like you know, saying back yeah, in yeah. like the middle school days. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like we are gonna. Uh, I, re- <laughs> <laughs> I remember, uh, like we had like maybe three. Two or three notable snow days, like growing up, like oh, the shit. one that yeah. that happened like during the Super Bowl, yeah, or uh, the one back in high school. Those are like the two most notable. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, actually, because I was trying to remember, like, I'm like, bro, like, there's so much shit that like happens like in the past that like we kind of like just like brushed off and like we act like it's so new to us now, you know? Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, I, it's just like the snow thing though, because wasn't it like last year power grids went off or something like that, right? They were telling us to, uh, you know, adjust our fucking, our, our whatchamacallit, our thermometers and shit like that. Man, that shit was terrible. That shit was horrible. Uh, I feel like, I'm not going to speak on that's politics, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't, fight, I don't, I don't know, know if it's don't. politics or not, really. I, I think it's, well, me being, oh, I hate to fucking be like this. I don't know. I, I'm not a smart guy, all right? But I try to take everything, like, with face value and my, uh, my side uh, field of work. You know, being an electrician, I just don't understand, like, why power would be shut off to, like, like buildings and shit, like where people live. I don't know. Shit, I, I don't just, know. I just feel like they're just trying to like they fucked up, and more or less it's just like, you know, I, I don't know if you ever been like out to LA and shit. No. Have you been in LA? No, bro. Like, um, like they got their power lines underground and shit. I feel like that's Under, like underground. Underground, bro. Like that's like a Texas thing. I have like. Well, we have power. Out- underground too but like you you say like telephone lines and shit yeah yeah all that shit underground okay like in texas that's not really a priority because you know we got hella land out here that's um, true and i'm sure it's outdated as fuck but like who's who's to tell texas their shit's outdated you feel me yeah yeah i mean so i don't know bro i trust i ain't trying to get political in 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 here but if like, you know, push comes to shove, we go down a rabbit hole, we go down a rabbit hole. I get it. Oh, shit, we already <laughs> in the rabbit hole to keep it a band, bro. I mean, uh-huh. that's America. I think America is just stuck on rabbit holes. Uh, no. It was like, it's fuck it, we're going to get into some other shit. We, we fucking, it's just been nonstop. That's why I was saying, like, with the snow and shit, like, I told uh, one of my homies earlier, I'm like, bro, the, the simulation is, like, replaying itself. They oh, G shit, G shit. Yeah, it was like, I was like, because I my favorite thing is those like it's the simulation. The simulation's fucked up. Like, oh my god, you see the like, those are my favorite memes. You ever seen those? Uh huh, uh huh. What are you talking about? But they're like not only memes, but they're also like like little subtle shit, you know? Yeah. I don't know, I don't I know if you. About. I I hate to fuck. I guess I'll expose myself real quick, but like. 
those jokes hit so close to home, because, like, I guess, like, no shame. I think my favorite action movie whatsoever, like, like, top movie series of all time, The Matrix. At least the concept behind it. Yeah, straight up. I don't, up. Know, I don't know if you've classic, ever watched that. Classic. Have you watched it? Of course. Did you see the recent one? I actually haven't. You're going to hate me for that. Um, nice. I just... See, I, my thing about going to see the new one, it's just, like, I got I got, I got, got the first one so deeply rooted into me that, like, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to, like, really, any of the ones after the first one, it was really kind of hard for me to take them seriously, especially, like, the upcoming one, because, like, I just don't want to fuck up with, like, what I had going for myself and just, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, damn, how y'all going to... Like, they did that shit with Men in Black. I don't know if you remember. They came out with a third one. I remember. That shit... That shit was lame as fuck, dog. You didn't, you didn't like Men in Black, the third one? Yeah, that so, came out like 10, 15 years after the first one came, or second one came out. It, it didn't need to have that. This is still Will Smith, right? Yeah, Will Smith's old ass. Okay. <laughs> bro, oh, bro, Jada better leave him alone. Man, that whole situation is fucked, man. Like... On, on, on the real, bro. I hate like, speaking about it, but like at the same time, like, do you think people just do shit to just like do shit to be talked about, or do you think like, yeah, I don't he's know. on like a he's on like on like a little uh like a like an industry storyline with his wife, dog. Like that's the little things that they they do to like remain like in the spotlight because when you really think about it, um. Will Smith is, like, the highest-grossing black actor besides maybe, like, Denzel Washington and, like, Morgan Freeman. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he's a very notable figure. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So anything that he does, the whole world's watching. Kind of like The Rock, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I think when it comes to them and just, like, the antics they do, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, it, all comes, it all comes back to the industry. <laughs> God, bro, I... I am fucking excited to be fucking doing this. You know how many fucking... Uh, you see those tweets, like, you know, making fun of, like, uh, what did it say? It said, like, dudes uh, dudes that start podcasts is just, like, a guy version of OnlyFans. Shit, that? nigga. <laughs> uh, that, that, that's not even in the same room. Like, I mean, shit, if you want me not, to whip my dick page. out on this bitch, I'll whip my dick out on this hub, put hey, my dick all up on the camera and hey, shit, yo, nigga, get some bands off the hub. Hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo. I'm gonna have to go up on a different side on that uh, at that moment, but hey, uh, man. whatever works, right? You trying to I get guess, up? I guess so. But uh, no, no. Uh, what I mean though, I think they meant that in the aspect of like, uh, like, I think I think just like I don't know, like self enjoyment, I guess, or like on the side, like because they said you see a dude like, hey, if you see a table set up. And a microphone, just walk out. Just leave. Because mm-hmm. he'd be talking about some bullshit with, with some boys all day. And I'm like, man, I hate that I get to see these fucking tweets liked by, like, these these chicks that I follow and that I went to high school with and, like, you know, shit like that. But, hey, it's like, you know, it's there. and But, like, at the same time, it's funny. That's the, you know, to, to go off on another tangent, like... That's also the terrible thing about Twitter. It's mm-hmm. like is like that. You get that uh I I don't know, Twitter's on like uh I don't know, obviously the world doesn't let me first say this, the world doesn't revolve around Twitter. But like whatever comes into the world goes to to Twitter, which is a majority, you know, a mass majority voice, you know, reply to like, you know, whatever is happening in that moment. You feel me? So mm-hmm. like, Twitter is the automatic, uh, like, uncool button. Sometimes, like, sometimes shit is cool for a while, but then like, there'll there'll be like a tweet that that'll go out, and like I said, like that podcast tweet. You know, just make it like, oh, if a dude has a podcast mic or, or a camera set up or, or something like that, leave. Like, that's just the automatic uncool podcast. I'm like, 
Man, don't fucking do that shit, dude. <laughs> You be killing nah, the fuck, shit. Nah, nah, fuck that. I feel like those are the people who want to start a podcast, you know, type shit. You know what I'm saying? They're just they're insecure in themselves. Like the fact that they even had the the audacity to put energy out there like that towards something in particular. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm just, I feel like that's hate. That's hate. Well, people do just like to hate to hate. I know that. So it's it's scary, motherfuckers on the internet. I know I'm gonna keep it a band with you, bro. There's so many say so. He's like she said, he said <laughs> said type niggas on the internet because like, bro, nobody in the, in the real world are doing these things. So they're gonna give all the opinions they want because that's what social media is. It's just bullshit yeah. and like everybody just agrees with people's opinions or everybody tries to like like you know push negative opinions on each other and it's just like it's yeah. like it's like a it's like a merry-go-round bro like it's it's the same thing they either love you or they hate you they either love this or they hate this and they're yeah. always gonna love it at the end that's what it goes down to yeah it's 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 tough because like you know you get the bad which is that obviously from twitter but also you like that's those things like right there where that make people want to take those like uh you know, those, like, social media breaks, you know, type shit like that. And, mm-hmm. I, I, <clears throat> and, and I, and I did it myself, too, you know, but at the, at the same, in the same breath, like, you know, those are the things that push people to those limits, you know, that are like, oh, I, I can't, you know, like, see this negative shit. It's affecting me and my life and how I think. It's making me not motivated to go, you know, push forward in, like, you know, this aspect, you know, like I said, the podcast aspect or whatever it may be. You know, obviously, like, you know, this isn't the most professional podcast, obviously, but, like, I'm just working with what I got, and I just want to chat, you know, and just upload mm-hmm. shit. And I think it's also a better way to, like, you know, get connected, like, with, uh, like, a base of fans also if you fucking can build one, you know, build a base, you know what I mean? Right. But um, I mean, you're, you're in a you're good spot for that, bro. And I think this is a good setup, man. Like... Personally, uh, I prefer it like that. I prefer it like how it is right here because, um, I don't know, I feel like it's it's not too in-your-face confrontational about it. It's just like we just hanging out talking. I know, oh, yeah. Uh, There's so many mm-hmm. people that, that do this now, though, too, like that just sit back and like in the Discord with like their Discord cams. Uh, you watch any, mm-hmm. fucking, uh, you watch any streamers or, or like YouTubers or anything like that? Shit, man. I don't really kick back and watch too many. I'm I watch Adam. I always watch Adam. Yeah. Um Shadow Nerd. So I, I watch I watch him. I kinda keep up with like with a little bit of hip hop news just because like oh, yeah. I feel like I always gotta know th- like what's going on in the industry. You big man um, kid. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, I have to know what's going on in the industry. Just because like I wanna know how to make my move. And I'm not yeah, I'm not yeah. obviously my music's gonna speak for itself. I w- I will never need to find a way to come up because no yeah yeah you know what i'm saying like type like if when you love something and you love the ones that you're around bro you're you're gonna get the like you're gonna get the uh, what's the word that's not, not like it's like it's karma but it's more of like um you know what i'm saying like it's like an exchange like i give you something you give me something it's just like the more time you put in the things you love and the more time you spend like time with the people you love bro yeah it's all gonna come back so yeah. it'll all fall into place yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of got off off topic with that question, but uh, I watch a uh, watch a uh, Adam. I watch a uh, shit. I should, I watch Timothy De La Ghetto's podcast. I don't know if you know okay, who that no, is. I know who that is, but I don't watch it. Yeah, I feel like uh, he gives a different perspective because he's 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 cool in his thirties. I think like thirty one, thirty two. Yeah, he's pretty. Old. <laughs> he's fairly old. He'd be on uh, Wild and Out and shit still, though. I think. I don't even know if he's on Wild and Out anymore. I think he's on this show called Deliciousness. Like it's right after Ridiculousness. It's like, bro, <laughs> MTV is just ridiculousness what? now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's another thing that I don't fucking do. You want you want to know something weird about me? I don't watch television at all. Nah, me neither, bro. It's just dumb now. I don't I don't watch that shit. You know why? They call it. Why? They call that shit programming. I mean, it's called national programming. You know. You know. I mean, I'm right there with you. It's it's like. I mean, like, I get it. We're watching a TV show, funny, laugh, ha, ha, ha. But, like, I just feel like a fucking, you know, yeah, you sit in. You sit on your, your couch, and you watch this box, and you get sucked in. And, you know, you're, you're, next thing you know, it's 6 o'clock. You wasted your day. No, facts, bro. That shit is wild, bro. Um, 
Okay, have you seen Capital Steez Free the Robots, like the music video for that? Capital Steez? Yeah, he's um, I like, heard he of was, him. So he basically, he's, you know, Pro Era in New York? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, with Joey Badass and them. Yes, yeah. Um, That nigga has his video, like, so he basically, like, rest in peace to Capital Steez, but... Um, oh, he's gone. Then, I didn't know. Yeah, he, he fuck, bro. It's some weird shit. And I don't. I don't even know how to speak on the whole situation. But if you ever get some time, look up Capital Steez and what he stood for. Um, but like one of his videos, um, is like basically it's called Free the Robots, and it's like him just sitting in front of a TV and just like taking in everything that media puts in front of you, and like. Ooh. It's like it's very interesting mm. because like it's just like his perspective. Like he gets down, he sits down, and watches TV, but but like the end of like. The, the video like he's just sitting there just like kind of like in a fucked up state of mind and yeah it's kind of like what yeah, you were talking about yeah it's a there's i like i like that the a lot of people look at that shit and like you know pay no mind to it which is kind of like upsetting but like you know i'm not trying to say like i'm on a on a on a deeper mind or deeper level than like someone else like that but you know i just <laughs> You, you know how we both program. You know how we both, you know, how our mindsets go off of mm-hmm. off of our artists. So, like, already the way I think, like, you know, not, not just based off of him, but, like, my general thought, like, throughout my whole life has been, like, uh, holy shit, bro, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You're good, bro. Holy shit. But, uh... No, uh, the TV thing. TV, that's where we were. We were at TV. Um, yeah, man, I, I don't know. It's just tough. Like, the only time that I'll ever fucking watch TV uh, is, like, for those, like, big sporting events or, you know, I don't even like watching those. Like, I hate fucking everything is corny to me, bro. <laughs> that's also what Twitter has done. It Twitter has made everything corny to me. Like you got, you gotta, you gotta sometimes switch off Twitter, bro. I'm gonna keep it a band with you. Yeah, I got. I I lock out. Shit, when I get done tweeting now, I lock out. Like I don't even keep like my like profile logged in. Like you remember how back in the day, like when you get on a game on a computer, you would like yeah. you you would log in, you log out. That's what I've been doing with my apps. Like yeah, majority of my social media is like that on my phone. Where well, I log in, I log out. Well, the, there's a. I see. I think I'm starting to see like why you know companies get these. Uh, you know, social media managers or, or some shit like that, you know, mm-hmm. and, and like, or, or, or brands or something like that. Um, because like, you know, the person itself, you know, God bless, like, I don't know about you, but I think Cardi B has her phone in her hand 24 seven and she can do whatever she wants. But like, you know, so but she's but she's not, but she's not on her phone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But not like looking on Twitter and you know seeing shit like that all the time, seeing shit about her and shit like that. Uh, but you know, other you know artists and shit like that. You know, I think I don't know. There's some artists like <clears throat> there's artists that don't like the internet shit. You know, mm-hmm. that that strictly just you know drop music and. And, like, you know, want to stay away from the internet shit. And then that's whenever, like, you know, I guess their team or someone that they, they like, you know, trust runs their runs their page for them, you know, as a business. But that's mm-hmm. why it's so hard for me, though, too, because, like, I'm my own entity right now pushing Nikki J <clears throat> and everything with it. Because Nikki J is just me as a whole, like, you know, but, you know, I still got to push it and, like, you know, be kind of like, you know. Uh, active on on social other social medias, if you will, you know, but also mm-hmm. at the same time, be be cautious of what I fucking take in because I do hop on there and I just fucking go on an endless scrolling, just fucking looking at the phone like God bless, bro. Look at all this bullshit. Mm-hmm. Which fucking, yeah, I feel, I feel. You talking that? You talking that talk? I mean, but you know what I'm saying though. Like it, it's just uh. I don't know that the the good thing about Twitter though, bro. I can't, the one reason why I don't leave is all the fucking funny shit. Hmm. It's just just too much funny shit, dude. And you find out about news first before anyone, though. I think. I hmm. mean, I think personally, it's terrible because like I, the minute 
something like like news flashy goes out, it's like it's immediately Twitter first, and then like my psycho. I'm a sick person. I'm gonna do. I'm a. I'm gonna be like. Uh, I'm gonna be like my my pod inspir my pod inspiration. Shout out Joe Budden. I'm a sick mind. All right. So what I do is after a a story goes out, <clears throat> like something tragic, you know, whatever it may be, tragic or or viral, whatever it may be. I be on Twitter, seeing what's being said about it, and then like I'm like, all right, let me close the app. Probably like two minutes into the app, let me check something else. Let me see. If it's hit somewhere else, it's, I just like to see how fast news spreads. You know what I'm saying? So like, I guess, I guess that's the way to think of it. And then like, whenever some, if it doesn't hit like Facebook or or Instagram, it's gonna hit Instagram more more likely next before Facebook for some reason. But through my experience and through my fucking times that I've tried this, that's what's happened. Mm -hmm. and, and and it's kind of weird to me though. I, I'm just like, how is Twitter like the fucking epicenter? It, it it really isn't. Like I said, it's not the fucking center of the world, but you know, it's the center of the news world. It is. I mean, because it's, 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 it's first person perspective in that bitch. Yeah, and it's also like the Wild West in that bitch, though. You know. Mm hmm. So shit, you you real about that, bro? Um, sorry to jump you. You're good. Um, but. Perfect example. I was thinking on this a little bit last night. Um, when X died, like I, I remember I was like I was at work, oh, and uh, work. shit, bro. Like I was just I just clicked on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Yes, um, bro. I see XXX Tentacion trending. So my first, you know, me being a, like a, a fan of X, I knew it was one of two things: he either dropped music or he died. I, I just knew. Yeah. Um, when I clicked on that shit. Like the first trend, I clicked on that shit. Boom, him in the whip, head popped back. Mouth all yeah. open and shit, and I, I looked at it and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, ah, oh, it's a music video. You know what I'm saying? Like when he did that. Uh, that's when what he you did said. That... No, that's what I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so like you know when uh like the riot music video dropping that nigga was hanging himself. Yeah. Um, so like, I kind of like put like that in that kind of range, but I'm like, nah, X when it no, do that I... game, bro. No, I, I, I see how you could think that way, thinking like, you know, maybe this is just a, a shot for a music video or some shit. Yeah. My mind my mind probably ran to that once, but like, I don't mean to jump jump in before you too. I'm sorry. No, you're good. But like, the place that happened to me, uh, now we're just recollecting where we were. <laughs> nah, I feel like we had to. We have to, though. I mean, like, where I was, though, is I was leaving work. I was leaving a fucking eight hour fucking construction day at like three something, three o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, at that point in time, I had notif notifications on for Twitter. See, what I don't have on anymore is notifications. I used to have on notifications because I was like, oh, I'll see what someone, you know, responds to me or some shit, you know, or, or likes a tweet of mine or whatever. And now I just turned all, all notifications off. Only notifications I get are like if someone's like live streaming on Twitch or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, or oh, Reddit post. Um, how long have you been like that? How long? Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say three, two years. Two, okay. two years. Just haven't been having other notifications other than that. Which is fine. But like I think no notifications, going back to what we were saying earlier, helps. You know, oh, for sure. Limit that because, like, I'd get notifications about bullshit that I don't even need to see, and then I open the app, and then there I am scrolling. But yeah, exactly. Um, but but hold on to rec going back. So where I was leaving work, I remember getting a notification. Someone fucking DM'd me the video, and oh my fuck, I was so fucking mad at him, bro. I was like, I like don't. People, people were, it was kind of insane, bro. The people that knew me were, like, sh sending me videos and, like, messages and, like, bro, like, talking, like, like, I don't know. That It was funny. They are like, I actually, like, like, I knew the guy type shit, you know. It was kind of, kind of weird. But, like, what it was for me is, like, I put everyone on, like, like, on him when I, back, at, back then. And they were, like, you know, oh, no, you're wild. No, nah, you, you. He makes the wildest shit. Nah, his shit ain't deep. You know, nah, 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 nah. 
And then, like, look, like, biggest moment ever, fucking, he was even bigger when he was alive, you know, just all around great artist. That's what makes me fucking, to, to turn the subject around, to turn the subject around, that's kind of what makes me excited about this documentary. So, mm -hmm. do you have any thoughts on it? They can't fuck this shit up. You, they can't? Oh, uh, did well, they say I who? Shit, they might. I mean, shit. I, honestly, I, I, I'm mad that it took this long to come out. But like, if it came, yeah, if it's taking this long to come out, it's it better be right and it better be accurate. Um, his story enough can save lives. So I want to make sure that if I mean I, I have no real power, but if you know what I'm saying, if I come off yeah. as an artist, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure to do everything I can to like show people what X stood for and in, mm, in the positive no, that's facts, yeah. A lot of people only know the negatives. Facts. And you know at towards the end obviously, like, you know, obviously, you know, growing up, I think like he had to resort to those rowdy, you know, violent, you know, acts and like, you know, shit like that to, you know, just cause uh survival. Some, well, survival and attention. At least make a name for himself, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. here, here goes this 15, 16 year old kid busting into cars, robbing gro uh, little corner stores in Florida, dropping tracks, getting arrested, getting in fights, you know, making his small little name known in Florida, travels around. Other Florida rappers are, are blown up at the time, you know, word gets around, gets through, all the way to LA, no jumper, you know. Like I'm saying, bro, I'm I'm kind of excited to see how how accurate uh, this this doc is gonna be. Cause not to totally change subjects, but I want to say two, maybe three weeks ago, I watched the Juice World documentary. Mhm. Mm and uh, for me, now that I'm remembering like it it kind of was for me documentaries like normally like i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't watch uh no never mind i don't want to jump subjects but for me documentaries are supposed to be like uh like isn't it like started from birth and then like you know like how they came to who they wanted to be blah blah, blah right for the most part yeah I mean, i'm trying to remember if there was more of that like in juice's doc or not but I think most of the doc was, like, kind of, like, whenever his, like, you know, middle part of life. They didn't show a lot, like, when he was, like, a kid or anything like that. They only showed a couple pictures. As much um, as I can remember. They probably just didn't want to focus in on that. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I know that's what they oh, did with a little it. peep. No, that's what they did with little Peep stocking. Or, yeah, I've seen the little peep one. See, and, that was, uh, that's what I was going to say is I haven't seen Peeps. And I feel, like, really bad because, like, I was really fucking with Peep back then, too. Mm -hmm. You know, so like, yeah. If I haven't watched Peeps, I don't know why. Because I think, uh, well, one, I just as is, I don't watch fuck. Like I said, I just don't be watching a lot of shit. Either I'm on YouTube or I'm on the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, but uh, no, I just I just ain't fucking watching it. Yet. I just never got around to it. I. I do plan on watching it though, and so, but that's what they did for Peep. They showed a lot of like you know kid footage and shit. Mhm. Mm yeah, uh, Peep's mom was on that hoe. And, like, I hope we get some of that. Yeah. I, um. I don't know. Who's... I I'm I'm not even really I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not really expecting a whole lot just because I feel like personally I feel like X already put out enough for me to like gain my truth or help improve my truth from the videos he already had out on YouTube. Um so like I feel like maybe the the, um, the maybe the the documentary gives like a little bit more insight on some things that maybe I haven't seen or for somebody who hasn't really experienced who X is. Um that's all I really wanted to do. Yeah. Have you do you have a like uh internet like in front of you or near you? Like uh um, Google? My laptop Yeah, my laptop's like right here. You let me grab it real quick. I don't know how to fucking say this person's name, but I'm Googling right now the the documentary director. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's it says Saba, <laughs> Saba Fol Foyan Foyan. 
I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, will be revealed in Austin, Texas this March. Vader's long-awaited XXX Tentacion documentary, Look At Me, will premiere South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, March 11th through 19th. It's from Fader. Yeah, I see. Uh, hold up. It almost made me want to go to South by Southwest. <laughs> They're smart for that. But I'll never go to South by Southwest unless I'm how performing. Much those, how much are those fucking tickets, though? I mean, that's a world premiere, bro. I don't know. Um, they'd be expensive as fuck. She's a, that's a black woman. Oh, oh, wow. That's actually something I don't, I didn't expect. I thought it'd be somebody white, to be honest. Well, I don't. Seems like, how's, she, <laughs> how's she affiliated, though? Like, does she. Is she just like she's, a director, or is she affiliated with them? Like, I'm not. I'm, I'm not quite sure because I mean, if it were documentaries being filmed, I would. I understand. I, I'm not sure how how filming quite goes, but like, I'm still learning. But it seems like she's from she's from the she she's from the hood. Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah, she uh, she's an activist, and maybe she gives an unbiased opinion of what X really was. And, Maybe even enlighten some people in the black community about X because I feel like X is oh kind of, I feel like X is kind of. Um, oh my God, bro! I'm looking at the tickets to go. What is it? What does it stand for? Like, two hundred, three hundred. Fam, there's badges. Oh, an online pass, bro. We can watch it. We can register online. We can watch online, but God, even online it costs fucking five hundred dollars almost. Yes, yeah, that's 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 too much, bro. God, um, on, um, I'm, I'm gonna see, it. I'm gonna see. It. Like, I'm, I'm not really pressed to like figure out when I'm, I'm gonna, how I'm gonna see it. But I'm gonna have to stay off fucking the internet. I'm gonna have to stay yeah. off the internet. If you're trying to get this podcast going, which you will, you gonna have to be on the internet, bro. <laughs> like, well, no, yeah, but like, so what I'm trying to say is like, so when the Spider-Man movie came out. I, oh, I get you saying. I get you saying. So, I was like, man, I'm doing everything in my power to stay off Twitter. And I did. And I didn't open a single thing. I didn't open nothing. But you know what's funny? I saw Spider-Man, though, opening day. So, I was good. So I was Me like, too. So, I was like, oh, I'm set. All right, fine. I can get back on the internet, which is good. But, like, that's the sickness in my head that was like, I need to go see it. So, I'm not late. <laughs> but... Shout out to the homie that, that hooked me up with a ticket. Um, shout out Nano. Uh, mm-hmm. I can't fucking... I don't know, but it's like that, though. I don't think it'll get... Spo- the X documentary will get spoiled like that. But, like... <clears throat> I don't want to see, like, screen caps. You know, I want I want a good, like, you know, first... Uh, you know, experience whenever I watch it. Well, probably... Oh, yeah. We'll probably all watch it here in the Discord. Uh, I'll make people watch it like in the in another server if you're down to join if you want. Yeah, we can run that. That's cool. Um, if not, then I don't know. It just depends how I'm feeling. I I might not wait for those fuckers because they might not give a shit. <laughs> but like as soon as that's because it's hitting Hulu. As soon as it hits Hulu, I'm gonna fucking uh, I'm gonna run that shit up. Gonna run that shit up. I feel, feel ready. I mean, I don't know. It's like what, like you said too. Though, been waiting like years for this one. Years. Do you remember Hell. whenever they first teased it? Man, they've been talking about this shit for a long time. But like I say, I, I feel like I, I learned my truth enough from X's videos alone, which was his. I think that was his goal. You think What's we're that? getting new music? Hell no, that shit's Wait, done. Did no? Did you hear that? There's a the X and Juice song is coming, and there's a, apparently an unheard verse from X and his uh, platinum hair days. Oh, uh, that'd be cool. So, um, my shit like I feel like when it comes to music like that, bro, I'm like well, X was independent, so I don't know if I can really. Speak speak for X's take but like when it comes to juice oh, right. and juice's music bro i'm starting to see the industry for what it really is and 
they're, they're just keep they just keep releasing his music because they're like fuck it we got it like that nigga. Well, he said like he says it in his song so I like basically he's like I put these songs out for you guys to like you know escape like you know your demons and you know this is for you guys like he's literally said it in lyrics of his songs and you know I at that point that's like an okay to me you know like at least it's like you know not a, an indefinite okay but also I understand you know the posthumous like releases is the most toughest argument ever but my favorite thing to do like you know with conversations like these is well one I'm not well educated enough to know but let's go back in time to whenever they released you know Tupac's album because I know they released an album out whenever he was gone right Mm -hmm. so whenever they or they've also not only done it for him but like multiple other artists like when that was going on Obviously, it's who who he signed his, you know, rights to that own the music, either the label or, you know, a close relative or someone. I'm not sure. Whoever, I guess, is written in the will, you know, if there is one. Mm-hmm. But uh, nine times out of ten, you don't think you're going to fucking die at the age of 20-something, you know? That is true. Um, I don't, I, I don't know, bro, like. I often think about my music and um, just really like how do I want people to take it in as a face value but like I don't I don't really want anybody to um, to release my music for somebody else's profit like if it, if it comes down to it and let's say I die or I will only say if I die but let's just say I'm, I'm not able to make music the way I used to make music um I don't know, man. Like, I wouldn't want somebody to make money off of that. Mm. Like, unless unless it was my family or the money somehow made its way back to my friends or, you know what I'm saying? Like, in that case, yeah, sure, fuck yeah. it. I, I wouldn't even care. But if it's to make some rich white man in New York City happy, <clears throat> nah, fuck that. No, no, yeah. If it's, yeah. If it's for some label or some shit like that, it's already got thousands and millions and millions of dollars already poured into it then nah I, I get it but you know at the same time I coming from coming from a, a diehard fan standpoint obviously we would want new music <laughs> everyone wants new music or unheard verses you know uh, I would like to confidently say like I said that I've heard every X verse possible uh, but, you know, I have a friend that's, like, a really good, like, leaker for, like, Juice World and shit like that. And, like, he gets all, like, the, you know, the Juice World leaks, you know, finished products and shit like that. And, obviously, there's thousands and thousands of Juice World leaks out there. But, like, he gets, like, the right ones and knows what's gonna be the next album. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, they, they ain't heard this one, they ain't heard this one. He's, he's that type of dude. And so... Um, you know, he'd be telling me though, like officially, like confirming, because he's part of like you know these, you know, actual industry, like you know, discords, like with Juice World, Juice World Discord, or or like something like that. I'm not part of the X Discord, so um, I couldn't tell you. I I don't know how I'm not. I'm I'm trying to be, but I don't know how I'm not. But anyway, so he he'd be telling me though that it's actually a real thing that there is an X and Juice World song gonna be coming but it's like so hard to fucking they got that one on lock they got it like deep in the files so it's like an actual thing you know that X had a whole fucking tape with little Uzi dog do you know that I believe it there was time where fucking X and Uzi were like facetiming over like both like, while he was on house arrest and fresh out of jail and they just sent music back and forth to each other for a while Uzi even talked about it on uh, Aiden Ross's stream he said he ain't gonna fucking uh, drop music or drop X's music because he just doesn't know how that's gonna look you know based he doesn't wanna look wrong 
you know. Right, yeah. exactly. He said he doesn't want he he doesn't want the wrong outlook. He says like I I love the guy and you know I would love to put this out, but like I just I I don't know how you know the public would react. And you know that's what upsets me though. It's like I'd be great, but obviously there's those people and they're valid in their thinking to think like. Uh, Uzi just wants to check, blah, 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 you know, it was like, well, bro, like, if someone made something with someone, and they put time and effort and work into that one thing, and, like, planned on doing it, some tells me, like, at some point in time, they would, might want it to be heard, obviously, it's not a finished product, and it may not be, you know, his say to where it's the fullest tea, but, at least we know it was started for some someone's ears besides their own, you know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not an artist, though. And I've, I've only... I can't speak upon that, you know. I, I can only speak upon from the listener aspect because I'm a music nerd, too. But, like, I don't know. It's just it's just hard. I, I understand how difficult it, it, it is to, like, you know, maneuver in that space of, like, you know, owning music and, like, you know, putting it out posthumously. You know, yeah, I think what, what X's estate is doing, like his mom is uh, like registering like his old um, his files into NFTs and then releasing them as NFTs and then I remember release, that. release on streaming. Um, see, that's like how I would like want my family to do it. Let's say, like, I don't, I don't like, let's say I'm, I move on to the next life. Um, hell, this year or fucking 70, 80 years from now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if that happened and my music is worth the value, I, I would love my family to be owners of that. And NFTs are probably going to be the future, um, no matter what Kanye says. Um, I don't I don't think getting people away from their phones is really going to ever happen anymore. Like, we're, we're, we're attached no. to our phones. Like, the new world order is here, bro. Like, when you really think about it, like, all that shit with, like, metaverse and all that shit is to expand on this the yeah. social media, like, bro, it's all planned. It's wild. Yeah, yeah no, I, uh, that, that thing with Kanye West. <clears throat> God bless, bro. I don't want to fuck. I agree with him, though. I agree with him, though. <laughs> I, I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get into NFT talk. <laughs> NFTs, boy. But, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll ever release any of my music under NFTs, though. I, I will say it's too much of a concept for me to understand right now, bro. Um, I will say, like, I'm just now scraping the surface of, like, crypto, you know, and stocks. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, like, my knowledge, my, my level of knowledge of, like, understanding, oh, okay, so this is how I make funds, or this is how you properly invest, you know, and, and like, make funds in the future. So, I'm just now scraping that surface. Um, mm -hmm. For me to, like, I kind of understand them. But I won't say I understand them to a full extent. I just don't know how to go about getting one, though. Too is what the main thing I, I know, and 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 at that to own like the official one. You know what's the proper app? What's the proper shit to use? You know, and if I gotta spend an arm and a fucking leg for an NFT, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that until I'm fucking. Cause, I mean, I'm still trying to fucking make it out right now. You know. I'm, Shit, bro, it's cost a... How much for an NFT? Some, I guess a decent one from a good company, I guess, is like, what? Like, 10K, maybe? Something like that? Shit, something like... I, I've seen some going for 15. Um, like, but I mean, go, it really just... It ranges. It, like, they it go depends for, on the artist. Uh, they go for the cryptocurrency. That was like you, you exchange through, like, Ethereum, right? Yeah. Okay. But like I said, like I asked, like, is there, so are you as familiar with it though? I'm getting familiar with it. Um, it doesn't really pique my interest right, right now. Cause really everything that I'm, I'm going to be purchasing and like buying and spending my money on is going to come through my profession, which is music. Yeah. So, yeah. um, I'm keeping my eyes on my things that I want to get once I finally do break through with the music. Um, you just got to stay consistent dog. Oh, I'm mad consistent with it. It's gonna come. Give it, give it time. Like that's everything. Everything is time, bro. Like, yeah. My shit's, my shit's getting right, bro. Um, fuck. I ain't even showed you none of my music. Um, let me, let me send you. A, you showed me a couple of them whenever we were in the car. Yeah, that shit old. <laughs> that shit old. That was like, 
I was thinking back to it, I was like, damn, Loki, he got some ass music for me. Oh, those weren't um, bad, bro. I actually like those. And if you say you're making better shit, yeah, send it through. Oh, it's deep. Yeah, oh, fuck. I'm really going to start, like, slowly putting things out over, like, the span of, say, six months. And then I'm going to be dropping a tape probably in the summer. And then just from there, we're going up. I mean, I have enough for a tape now. Personally, I don't want to... I just don't want to leave my mark at where I'm at right now. I think a, a tape is a... I think it's a stamp in your career. Like, I, for me personally, I think it, it's... it. it I think it's like a turning points, like you know, a milestone. Yeah, yeah. Just so I, I'm not at that point yet, but once I get to that point, I feel like you know it's all gonna start going for me. Let me mm. see you this one. No, I, I I still believe in you, and like you know, like with anything, I know it's just kind of like hard for like like us. Like like I said, like we just gotta stay consistent. Same in my field though too. Like even though my field, I'm in a weird niche area as well, but like. You think it? So I guess this brings me to my next question. Do you think it's, do you think it's easier to blow up now, than it was back then, or do you think it's harder now because there's so much, other people, you know, trying to you know blow up at the same time, like competition. Uh, I just give it back to X, bro. Well, I mean, on top of X, I give it back to God, but, um. Uh... Shit, when it comes to X, bro, like what is real will prosper, bro. So like I'm, I, oh, that's, I've yeah. never, I've never really ever had like a, a a disconcern for that. Like when it comes to me, bro, uh, I, I look at life at a very, very deep detail, and yeah, me too. I, I'll think about human purpose prior to the United States of America. What is it, what is your worth if you're, let's say like in in jail, right? Yeah, yeah. What are you worth? What are you worth? How would people treat you? How would you treat yourself? How would you move? How would you operate? And I know in jail, I would be a leader or I'd be somewhere associated to where if whoever's the leader gets out or gets killed or and, and puts is get put into some position where he can't lead. That's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be the, I'm going to be the leader. I'm going to take control. I'm going to take charge. Cause that's what I've always been. Um, yeah, yeah. And like, I don't have to question that. I don't, I don't ever have to question that. Nobody has to question. I don't have to like, cause I don't have to prove how hard I am. People can feel how hard I am. I'm like, yeah. It, it it that's that's just kind of what it comes to when it when it comes to music too. It's like I don't have the bullshit. Um, so I just like it. I just know real is gonna prosper. Real is gonna prosper. Always. So always. Yeah. No. Uh, that's. I mean, for what is real will always prosper. I I do agree with that. But like, I guess what. Oh man, I, I don't know. I feel like uh, cause I heard this argument like a uh, while back on other pods, uh, from the Joe Budden podcast, saying like, oh, it's just like, you know, obviously the music will speak for itself. You know, mm-hmm. it's the same thing. Like you know, your music will, uh, the art will speak for itself. You know, mm-hmm. like some at some point, and that's kind of like how I am like when I make my videos or like, shit like that, like. I make, I, so I guess here's a good way to get in touch, like, you know, with me as who I am as a person. Like, I make these montages, right? So if you're watching me as a Nicky J fan, I make these montages, right? I mainly make them more so out of the fact of, like, uh, like art, just like expression and, like, since me being a big, like, music fan and it that. I want to share music, but also at the same time, like, growing up, like, I all I did was, like, just, you know, see the fucking, you know, Modern Warfare 2 montages and shit like that. And so here we are now. I've, I've now got the facilities. i got the tools at my hands. I can fucking do it myself. Like, maybe not to the fullest extent, but, eh, and it may not be the most popular type of content. But you know what? I'm putting it out there because I like seeing the end process. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I fucking like to, uh, I'll sometimes, like, I I sometimes swear, I I think I'm my biggest, like, I am my own biggest fan. Like, because I I go back and I watch my YouTube videos. I watch my funny moments and I watch my, like, montages and I'm like, damn, I did so good at that, that fucking, that transition or... 
or something there. Maybe if I do something, because every time I do it, I get a little bit better. I feel it. I'm like, okay, I'm getting closer to like proper editing status. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, like eventually, like, because what I want to do is like, I want to be able to do like, you know, real life videos, you know, eventually take a camcorder, you know, be a, you know, actual recorder for someone. I don't know, like music videos, maybe whatever it may be. Something other than, you know, just gaming videos. Obviously, I want to, you know, spread out and do more. But, like, like I said, like, that's that artistic, though, that expression and what will speak through itself later on in the future. Like, people may not get it now. They may not get the song that you put out now or something like that. They may not get the... That's like one of those, like, miss bars, you know? Like, there's all there's tons of songs like that now where we go back and we're like... Oh shit, that was actually like kind of hard. Or, oh damn, he he made sense right there, you know. Bro, fast. Like, I'm gonna put this in perspective for you. Even artists like, I'm a big Sean fan. Like, Big Sean has songs. He's got he he's got he's got music on the internet that only has like 1k plays from like back in the day, like 3k plays from back in the day. Can I stop like, you for a sec? Yeah. What do you think about the Drink Champ shit? Oh shit. Um. Like being, I guess, so a, a fan of Big Sean. Uh, I got I got boys from Detroit, you know. But yeah. Like, that Drink Champs interview taught me a lot, though. Like of like where he started and then how he came to who he is now, though, too. And uh huh. I was like, oh wow, I didn't think it was gonna get this deep. But mm -hmm. it did. And <laughs> I, I fucking to start it off though. I just want to say, like, it's a mess over there at Good Music. No, it's just horrible. I mean, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know if that's all real or if it's all fake. Though that's what's kind of fucked fucking me up right now. Well, I'll say it like this: you know, I'm an up and coming artist. I wouldn't sign to Good Music. Why? Because what is what's in it for me? And that's like that's how any that's how any up and coming artist is gonna look at something and be like, what's in it for me? If I sign with you versus signing with like, I don't even know. How to explain. I can't even think. Well, they're thinking top. the same thing though, too. No, what's in it? For I mean, them? yeah, facts. I mean, like, what's in it for them? And um, but it, they can You gotta have. You gotta draw the people you want before. Like, I don't know. I can't even really speak on that. Like, well, it's a, I, obviously I, I, it's I, way more in the future, you know, and it's kind of like a. It's a way bigger thing. I'll, like, standing your ground and knowing your worth, I guess, is like... Yeah, it's a pyramid scheme. You know, uh, not just that, but like... You know, standing against these these comp like these like big labels and shit like that, like good music. Like you said, you don't wouldn't want to be signed... If you... Okay, tell me who you would want to be signed by. If I could really be signed by anybody, I'd probably just do distribution for it, like, to be oh, independent. independent. Yeah. I, I'd prefer Empire. to be independent... I don't know. I, think I Empire's I, independent. And Empire does do independent stuff, but um, I don't know, man. Like I, I really can't. I can't really call it yet. I, I really want to just be independent, but I'm gonna just let time like fix it for me. Cause like I mean, you could easily say independent is fun and all, but then you you don't you don't think about the little oh, no, stuff. Yeah. yeah, like I there's the same thing like for like a content creator in like a YouTube space or or Twitch at that like uh. You could sign to a uh, to a creative agency mm -hmm. that that sends out like your videos like for promotion for for like you know like YouTube or or some or that'll help put your videos out for like Facebook or or links out for like other shit you know and and there are these big companies like there's a big company out here in Texas uh, called I think it's called a hundred thieves. Mm. I think a hundred thieves is out here, and I think uh, I know Envy Gaming, Envy Gaming, uh, which is also a competitive team uh, building place where they, it's right next to the uh, American Airlines Center, where uh, the Dallas Fuel for Overwatch and uh, like Co Call of Duty play. And, uh, so you can get contracts based on those things, but then like, like you were saying. You know, like, what's in it for me? Since I'm not in the competitive space, like, you know, the content space, like, 
you know, how how are you guys going to, uh, you know, provide and make sure I can keep producing, you know, and and also uh, make sure not to, you know, take too much of the cake. What at the same time and knowing my own worth, you know, you know, I'm popping, I know I'm popping. Um, don't fuck me with this deal. And mm-hmm. so going back to the uh, Big Sean thing. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Like, like Kanye West, like really, like, what do you think went through his head when signing? He said, like, he. Did you hear what he said? He said, "What did he say?" He said he's like, he's like on his grave, uh, something talking about I signed Big Sean or some stupid shit like that. Yeah, he said he was like the worst investment or something like that. Some stupid shit like that. I feel like when Kanye West be talking, bro. I, I, I can't take him serious because he doesn't take himself serious when he like like you know what I'm saying like he really like when it comes to those interviews and shit he knows he can say whatever he wants to say and niggas are just gonna just like blow it up yeah um so like I feel like he doesn't even take it serious he's just like you know I'm gonna just run with it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that the, that this video gets views people are talking about me yeah um but you know that's inconsiderate. I think he he should have apologized, but Kanye West will never apologize. I mean, really, none of the like none of the bigger leaders in the world ever apologize. <laughs> Hell, I'm, I'm I'm gonna say something. This is this this might be fucked up. Um, I asked Joe. I asked Joe. I feel like Travis Scott wouldn't have apologized had they not been in like um, a, a media upcry. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say they swept it under the rug really good. Like I'm talking about like. They only came out with like maybe one or two people who passed away, and they and they swept the rest of the. They were trying to, um, like I don't think that nigga apologizes because it makes you look bad when you apologize, bro. No matter how people try to put it, apologizing makes you look bad. Well, yeah, but continue. Um, on what Astroworld or yeah, Jason? yeah, just like the situation at whole, or were you done? <laughs> Psh, I mean, Astro will still be fucking with me, bro. Like, Re- oh yeah, um, no. Let me let it be known that uh, my man here actually went to Astro World. So yeah, so oh, I, for, I forget I wasn't actually there. Um, is, you said it still fucks with you. It, it was that bad. Like was it, it was that horrible. Bad? It was horrible. Um, you know I'm a rager, so I'm always gonna be in the pit. Um, for Cardi, you know what I'm saying like yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for, for Juice, <laughs> Uzi, like I'm, I'm gonna just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fuck with I fuck with being in the pit, man. Like I'm, shit, I don't even care. Like even when no, I go as too. an artist, I fucking art the energy that that uh, like because this is like the the energy that concerts bring to me is like a energy like no before, bro. Like I I feel more I I've, I've never felt so alive. Like in that moment of jumping around the loud music, everybody else feeling the same feeling that I'm feeling in that moment. Mm-hmm. Of like that this shit is hard we're all on beat we're all on cue we're all raging someone is yeah people are gonna get hurt you know shit shit's gonna happen we all gotta be prepared though and like look out for our own that's kind of like i hate to you know step on your point but like after the astro world uh incident i went to go see baby keem and like, that's probably two days after the Astro World incident or something like that. Um, but everybody was so like in tune and like watching each other. But at the same time, it was still one of the most lit, lit concerts ever. People were still raging, pushing each other, and you know, shit. What kind of sucked though is like, yeah, like shit didn't change. Nobody really learned. Everybody's still partying too hard. Everybody's going to get hit in the face, still going to mosh pits. That's the bad thing about humans today. Like, you know, a terrible event will happen and then, like, we ain't going to pay no mind. We're, we're just still going to go out and party, you know? Yeah, so we ain't got it. nothing else to do. Shit, we all slowly dying type shit. I know. Um. But, <laughs> like, but, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, uh, you know, that that I wasn't there, obviously, the concert that I went to was a lot smaller scale than Astro World. The biggest concert that I've ever been to is Jambalaya. And that hard. Was, there was a lot of people there. There's a lot of people there, definitely. But 
I do not think as much as Astro World. How much was it? Thirty thousand, right? Shit, I couldn't even tell you, bro. I couldn't even tell you. It was. I my my issue with Astro World is like there was just too many people that I couldn't enjoy myself. I'm like that's okay. that's too many. Um, I can't tell you what number that is, but I just know what that feels like, and yeah. it sucked. Yeah. I but just, it wasn't like that, but it wasn't like that the whole time though, because I'm gonna keep it a band with you. Like when the sun was out, because that that Travis shit happened at night. When yeah, the yeah. sun was out and you could see people, bro, it was fun. It was cool, but oh, yeah. it's when the sun goes down. When the sun that's goes when it, down, that's when it all, that's when it all goes down. You know? When the when it's demon time, type shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, shit, bro. Did you, did you take a uh, did you take video uh, of like the didn't you have video of like you in the uh, m- like in the crowd like, I got just... pictures bro but my hands were just so mm, this is just experience my hands were so like constricted because oh, of no, all yeah, the bodies shoulder to shoulder that I just kept my phone in my pocket because I knew it was going to be a fight for survival I knew oh, that no, before yeah. the music even started I knew it was going to be a fight for survival like no yeah um, so I, I didn't have my phone out at that time, but I remember when we were like packed in like sardines right before Travis came out, I took a picture of Bug to like show how many people were around me. And that shit was like, it looked like uh, on Spongebob when the town pulled up type oh, yeah. shit. You, that shit was funny, but at the same time it was scary. Like uh, you knew, yeah. you knew. I, 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 I told some, I talked to my nigga that was there with me. I told him, I was like, bro, like before he went, went on, I was like, yo. Something bad was going. I don't say something bad was gonna happen, but I was like, "Fuck, we fucked up." Because the side we went on was like the side that everybody was pushing yeah. toward, and I, I knew it. It's like I, I just know how to read a room or read a pe- like no, read a group of people. No, that is one of the things though that I think you and I were kind of like are well understood of, like based off of like you know the artists we listen to, and you know just like throughout personal experiences growing up. Read the room is like you just said. You know, you just know whenever you look at the thousands of people pushing up or the amount of people that are falling over or some shit like that or the type of the person is or that, just that energy, you know, inside the room. Mm-hmm. You just know, like, all right, I this ain't it. We got to leave. And then nine times out of ten, when you read the room and you left that room, you made the right choice. <laughs> Tight, usually. I mean, there's times I read the room. I'm not saying this is me anymore, but I used to be out to drink, read the room, and just not give a fuck as long as I was getting what I wanted. Oh, no, yeah. I hate, I, 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 and I hate that because... I apply that to everything, though, too. Like, I read the room in every situation. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, I mean, all in all, you do get what you want, but is is that the best decision sometimes? That's probably what it is. No, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not sometimes. Sometimes. But, like, mm. I... I don't know, man. I shit. I I'm sorry you had to fucking go through that, though. I mean, you probably shit, dude. Shit. I mean, there he like you said with him apologizing and shit to go back to that. Like the higher ups really don't apologize anymore. Is that what you were saying? Is that what you? Yeah. Said? No. Why should they? I don't. I mean, like you said, yeah. You apologize, you punk, basically, and you know that's it's kind of like the out outlook now, and it and it sucks, but and I, was he sorry? Let, let, let me not let me not hate on. Like, I'm not hating Travis Scott for that. I'm, I'm I'm keeping it very very business and professional when it comes to that. Now Travis Scott as as a person, I'm sure felt very sorry about the situation. I'm sure he felt an immense amount of pain and probably a lot of pressure because of that. And like I'm not I'm not saying that like he didn't feel wrong by it. I'm mm. just saying when it comes to like, when it comes to industry and it comes to like being an image, you can't say sorry, bro. And yeah, no, you, you can't cause it hurts. It, it's like, I don't know. It, it's like, a, yeah, I think it's that, you know, conditioning cancel culture, you know, type era that we're in right now though, too, at the same time. Okay, I got a perfect example. I know you don't really follow sports like this, but I'm sure it's something you can understand. So, you know the, the whole Kobe versus Jordan debate, right? Yeah. 
you know how many girls Jordan had knocked up and shit and have fucked on uh, fucked around with and never got media backlash for it because he never said sorry. Huh. Co- Kobe said sorry. That's why they'll never give him the nod over Jordan. Ah. Uh, okay. You I see never, what I'm saying? I never knew of it like that though. I never knew yeah. of it being like that deep though. I mean, you know, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. But like, yeah, rest in peace, Kobe. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, you know, just fucking, you know, air air info out like that. Obviously, because it's you know not my place to say. But you know, I understand those smear those smear campaigns, you know, and shit like that. And obviously, you know. You know actual you know like cases and you know shit you know the, the times you know at the time the shit that he was going through like you said he apologized you know and mm-hmm. and that kind of like you know got him caught up you know mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of fucked it's like i don't know that's why it's like you i have this internal like uh or this internal thing like uh I like I guess it's kind of, this is so this is a weird and gross thing that I'm about to say but like I don't ever want to be like too famous, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. no, not I get like, you. Not like uh it sounds so like cringe to say but like just a small like, you know, like that's why I'm like I'm not too beat up over like hundreds and thousands and thousands of views or anything like that, you know? And and obviously, it's still at at a starting point right now, but you know things could progress and get better. But also at the same time, I don't want like, damn, bro, millions, it's some millions and millions of people just just off of your word. You could say one wrong thing. Mm-hmm. Especially being white. <laughs> 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 I was like playing hopscotch on the no, internet. No, bro. Uh, <laughs> dude, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about being white on Black History Month. I'm not gonna do it. Man, white lives matter, dog. Don't. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I ain't say uh, nothing. What we doing here? All right. All right. <laughs> oh, man, I think all people matter. I'm not gonna go into like the Black Lives Matter, No Lives Matter, all mm. that bullshit. Everybody has everybody, everybody has matters. A purpose. Everybody. everybody has a purpose. Everybody matters. Everybody plays into the ultimate evil or plays into the ultimate creation. But um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just I, I I feel bad because like I feel like there was a point in the, like the internet era that I'm sure you saw and we saw like coming up when like the internet was fresh that you can be raw as fuck. Oh, you can yeah. be very very raw. And, you like, almost pe- still can, but you can't really. Right, right. But there there was, and I wasn't as, like, prominent back then, but, like, I joined Twitter, like, 2012, I think. Mm-hmm. And, like, I just remember people being like, oh, man, it was a war zone. Like, people were, you know, cutting people up and, you know, tape, you know, just straight up cyberbullying the fuck out of them, you know, early days. You know, type shit. And, and the most petty shit that I hate now to see is, like, someone fucking go back to a famous person's, like, old tweet that they made back in 2014 or, or 2012 and they quote tweet it. And that quote tweet <laughs> gets, like, fucking thousands and millions of likes and shit. Cancel like, culture. That is... Uh, it's they Twitter. get their dick wet off of that. They get their dick wet off of that. Yeah, Anybody for a little bit of clout to say that, ooh, ooh, ooh. He said this, said that. Oh, boom! They get a thousand likes and retweets of validation, where they feel like they can go outside to it. It's reaction, like. <laughs> you know. It's reaction. People like to see reaction. And what sucks though too is also what spreads faster is negative news, not positive news. Mhm. So I don't, I don't know what it is. You know, it's kind of. That's why I smoke weed. Facts. 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 I'll be like, I'll be posting some shit on the internet. I was like. Throw my phone down, go smoke some, and just be like, "All right, I'm not, I'm not even gonna focus on what people are gonna say about it because you know what? No, honestly, I like the negativity a little bit because it, it just fuels me. Like, yeah, yeah. Whenever I get into some oh, little, no, yeah. little little tiff or something like that on social media, I feel like I always like I know how to channel my energy. 
versus some people that oh, don't. Yeah, that's a good question. Like, what fuels you? Like, what fuels you to like you know push more? Uh, really, just like, like my I dedication guess. to change the world. Like my okay. dedication to help people. Um, to really help beat depression. I think that's really yeah. what it like that stems from because like music music was like my way of like fighting through depression. Same. And uh, oh, yeah. So I yeah, to yeah, straight up. So like, um, but like, I feel like I don't even want to like zero in on depression as much as X did. I feel like I just want my music to kind of like put you on my level a little bit, kind of like how X, yeah. you know, his energy used to put put you on his level. That's that's how I kind of want it to be. Oh um, well, it's, it's not all of his shit was like that though, too. But like, I see what you're saying. Like at the at the current moment of time, like you know, mm-hmm. he's rapping, like you know, the pain. And then the next song is gonna be like probably sadder than this current song that you're listening to. You're, you're listening to Off the Wall with Ski Mask and right, you're right. Not, you're not thinking about fucking Jocelyn Flores that's about to come up next. You know? Right, exactly, exactly. So I mean, but shit. Before there was a Jocelyn Flores, there was a skin, Off the Wall. You know what I'm saying? So like, uh, skin or walk. fucking, uh, fucking. You know, the alone part one, anything like that. You know, yeah. Like, you just... Mm-hmm. It's that emotion, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's like, shit, you... Go ahead. No, no, you, you, you're you good. I was gonna say, like, you don't you don't even get a, jo- a, a Jocelyn Flores or a Fuck Love without Off the Wall, without Take a Step Back, without... I love it when they run, like... You, you, that 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 energy that X captured in those moments yeah. gave him the confidence to be more vulnerable when they came later to being like open about his emotional state of mind and like or his emotional feelings. You remember when he got out of jail? Like which hair? time? No, 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 no. <laughs> like last time, last time. So twenty late twenty seventeen, like right yeah, after blonde hair, blonde hair era, prime. Okay, era. that's what I yeah. call prime era. I call that prime era. Yeah. For me, Primera was blonde hair, black haired X. I mean, obviously he was on his rowdy shit, but I think he had a good mixed bag of sad and and hard shit though at that point. Because then he started getting a little bit more serious, and you know, twenty seventeen is the year of XXX Tentacion. That's the year I graduated. That's like, yeah, seventeen. It was just fucking. I think seventeen came out with blonde blonde hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and I thought that was like one of the greatest debuts like ever, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I mean I've heard and I'm not, I won't lie to you, bro, I'm I am and always kinda have been a, a music head. I will talk about my greats. Like who are your greats growing up, like like that you would listen to? Wayne. Yay. Wayne M. Wayne. Drake. Um, and like Kendrick Cole, but I'm, I'm not really more. I'm more into Cole than Kendrick. Um, mm. but that's that's just because I, I feel like I could relate more to Cole. Um, uh, yeah. no, not to Kendrick though. I think Kendrick's hard. Um, but like what I'm saying though is like, I remember Kool Aid going through through like like all oh, my like phases of like like listening to like a like a specific artist and me like oh like that's my number one right now or at least or my heavy rotation so yeah like for me like starting out rap i started probably listening to like a lot of rap i want to say like because i got loosely listen like in intermediate school but it wasn't like heavy heavy i didn't i got really heavy into it like middle school type shit mm-hmm. so it was like eminem then I started to learn who ASAP Rocky was. And ASAP Rocky was like a big one for me. Uh, Same. Then fucking. Yeah, Wayne. And then it was like. Uh, kind of crazy. For a minute, it was future. <laughs> and then. And then now it's like fucking X. Like, X has never been like. For me, X is like one of the biggest staples. So out of all those artists, like not not because that he's passed, but just because of, I think the most, the time that we're in, we're in our transition era, you know, all, mm-hmm. grow, all growing up, you know, from high school to adulthood, you know. Yeah. And I think those times are the most hardest and struggling of times that people mostly our age go through and 
just with the timing of him putting out his music was like such a good escape for for people like us you know mm -hmm. and that just like want to either escape or relate you know and I, and that's what i think uh is probably i'm fucking I, I swear i'm standing right now people get tired of me standing but like i i i really keep my mouth sh i try to keep my mouth shut too much because i know people get annoyed about me talking about x but like at the same time i don't give a fuck but you know fuck y'all like y'all always be on <laughs> on y'all shit about like like oh uh fucking who was it oh kanye's working on donda too oh, and, you know and love kanye legend you know but like i don't care uh fucking oh corday just dropped a new tape oh jay cole's on a benny the butcher song right now Oh, and, and, you know, for me, it's just like I got to sit back and I just got to fucking watch everybody have fun. Everyone gets to have fun with all their artists. You know, and, and here I am just fucking sad. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Again, that day 1500 or whatever, how long it's been since sad drops? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, bro. Um, that I feel you. I definitely feel you. But that... That's kind of the reason I kind of just started, like, getting, you know, like, the real truth behind my music is, like, I feel like I wouldn't even, like, I mean, I started music because of X. Like, I started making music back in high school because of X. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, just hearing Look At Me for the first time, that shit inspired me. I was like, nigga, oh, no way. fuck, fuck. <laughs> now, the way he presented, like, music, though, like, he made it seem like exactly how I felt, though. He said, like, in his No Jumper in interview, he's like, I picked up like this sound like from Germany or some shit like that, you know. Like he, mm -hmm. like he's like a, 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 some guy in Germany made this like you know beat or like this, this audio, you know. And he's like, and I and I kind of tweaked it to make a beat. I actually <laughs> caught something I'm about to sample recently that like only like has like a million views on YouTube, and I love sampling shit, but like barely, oh, yeah. like like barely, like. From like anything from like the hundred thousand range to a million, those are my favorite things to like want to sample. I know finding finding shit, those little gems that you think like people really don't know about are are so mm -hmm. fucking great. But what like what made X great though is like he goes, he's like, I just know if it sounds crazy to me, it's gonna go fucking batshit insane in everyone else's ears. Like, mm -hmm. like it's gonna start a reaction whether they like it or not. It's gonna be talked about. I mean. It's a crazy sound. Imagine just just hearing "Look at Me," you know, and shit like that. Those mm -hmm. distorted, loud, fast-paced BPM, just fucking in your face. It's just it's a good staple, bro. And like I don't know, we fucking we done we damn near spent almost forty-five minutes talking about X alone. <laughs> we could spend a whole <laughs> podcast just talking about X. I can spend every podcast confidently telling you about X too. But yeah, bro, um, I feel like well, when it comes to, like to making music though, like how are you saying like how like you feel bummed out when like X doesn't drop music? Obviously, why? But um, that's the reason I like took on music, bro. It's like fuck, man. Like I don't have X here to make music for me anymore. I gotta do it myself. Myself. It's true. Make something that you would like to hear. Yeah, cause. Nobody can do it for me like X did it for me. Like, or you X can was, do it for yourself. As right, well. exactly. Like, I'm, I also kind of think about it. It's like if X doesn't die, I don't think I ever start making music because I feel like X kind of gave me everything I really needed up until the age of whenever he passed. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I took him for granted. Really, I did. I kind of hate to say that because, like, you know, he, he served his purpose and he lived his life, bro. But, like, at the same time, like, I don't know. I I didn't realize how much his his music affected my life until he passed. Yeah, it's. I think it's it's very vehement whenever you can see it through like. Like the fucking thousands and thousands, like the numbers and, and the support throughout like, like the whole world. You know, everybody in mm -hmm. the world. So it's kind of insane because I just. It blows my mind. Because I remember. Damn, I'm going back to the beginning. How'd you hear about X? 
Shit, XXO freshman updated list for 2016 going into 2017. Oh, okay. I that's saw it. Okay, so that's where you learned about X? Oh, yeah, it was him, Ski, Lil Pump, Smoke Purple all on the list. And I, it was very much like a media fake one. It was it was, it was fake media. Oh, okay. Like, okay, no, I know what you're talking about. The little rolling around list or whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that's when, like, it was, like, 2016, so, like, that's, like, when, like, he was in jail, uh, or he just went yeah. to jail, I think, is when I stumbled on him. And then just, like, just going through his discography on, on SoundCloud and just, like, thinking, wow, this nigga sounded so raw. Like, who, who is Ski Master Slump God? And, like, just, it just shit opened my eyes to a whole new sound, like, just a whole new sound. Bro. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I mean, <coughs> shit, dog. I don't know. It's kind of insane. Just to see how. How I learned about X, though, personally, like, it was, like, you want to know how I heard of him? Back in the fucking <laughs> Vine era, dude. Back in Vine. He, there were Vines floating around of him. And, like, quick little snippets of, like, his song uh, called Gnarly Bastard. Mm-hmm. And, like, I heard that song, and, and I was like, oh, my God, this shit is hard. Who's singing this? And then, like, I just went down a rabbit hole, and, and then... There I am. I didn't think it was some... I I just thought nothing of it. I thought it was, damn, this guy made a hard-ass song. I'm gonna like the song. Years come a little bit later, Look At Me comes out, and I'm like, holy shit, this guy also made Gnarly Bastard, that song I liked earlier? Mm-hmm. It fucking blew my mind. So, and that's just kind of how the fandom started, and then you got to see it grow as it, you know, as time progressed. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, going back again... I hope this I hope this documentary is pretty accurate. I don't I'm not sure. Uh I mean, I want usually in tandem with things like this, bro, they would try to release like like I would hope a single or maybe a something, you know, maybe something to entice at least a re- returning thing, you know, cuz I mean a documentary is great and all, but uh, fuck it. Re-release the SoundCloud songs. You know, I guess if that's yeah. what you gotta do. But I think that's the long-term plan, anyways. Um, but definitely, I feel like, damn, nigga, like just the things that they put on, um, like, bad vibes forever, or uh, skins. Okay, I don't. People, people don't like skins. I like skins more than bad, bad vibes. Bad vibes forever. Yeah, but yeah, but bad vibes for bad vibes forever could have been a better project had they took in more time with it. And I think that was the problem with this; they rushed it out because they're like, "Oh no, nobody's gonna care about X," and they fucked themselves because they underestimated how big he was. And if they would have just took their time with that last one that they dropped, it could have been a lot more anticipated, and they could have took a lot more time to make it where it needed to be. So. I don't know. Uh, members only volume four. I like a lot. I don't know. Of course, of course. I love mem- members only volume four. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It's 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 tough. Uh, I want to send fucking prayers out there for fucking ski, bro. We love you, ski. Over here yes. on, on these at these parts, bro. Fucking. We need you, Ski. I need Ski to keep going. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to collaborate I'm gonna collaborate with Ski one day. I'm going to link up with him and I'm going to link up with Trippy. All of them niggas, bro. That I, I would fucking, dude. I'd just like to sit down and have a conversation with Ski and everything. Just learn more. I mean, obviously, he, he's probably talked to, like, fucking everyone. But fuck, bro. That that man has gone through it and and he's still going though. He's I give him props. Cause to yeah, lose he, the homies like that, bro, is like tough. Yeah, I mean, shit, that's and being a he, limelight he, at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, Ski's always gonna be there, bro. Like I feel like Ski's just a, he's just a good homie. Um, I don't know, man. Like I just, all that shit's gonna come one day. I'm gonna meet all the niggas and. Sit down with Scheme. I'm gonna talk with Scheme. I fuck with Scheme. Oh yeah. I wanna. I wanna work with Scheme. Uh, I wanna work with everybody over there Scheme in that South Florida scene, bro. 
And I want to fucking... Uh, I want to see where you go, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, like, really excited. That's why you got to keep consistency, and you got to keep at it, though. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm about to start, like, plan of action over the next... Say, okay, so one of my homeboys, uh, he's dropping a mixtape, or I'm going to be on that hoe in March. Um, but I'm going to be consistently dropping throughout this month. Um, moving forward, um, I should have, like, I'm going to have a lot of music out, which... I want my I want my fans to grow with my music and I want I want to I really want the the real ones who were there from the day one like the OG days to really yeah. get to get a, a first hand experience of everything that I'm going through and uh, you know it's gonna be fun mm -hmm. bro it's really gonna be fun. No, I'm excited, bro. I, and trust I got you too, bro. Just let me know where where your fucking shit is and then I I, I fuck around make an edit to it or something like that. Shit's hard. <laughs> appreciate it. i actually just sent you a, a soundcloud link to oh yeah my first drop well i'm not i should say i'm not proud of that shit i i, I hate everything i put out i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it a whole band with you i hate it when i put it out but i love it when i like when it's mine um <laughs> yeah yeah um so I'll listen to it later yeah give that a listen to um but just like just my energy bro like just like just making sure that like i don't know just like just kind of like pick your head up energy bro like that's i feel like that's kind of like the energy i give off it's just like don't don't be focusing on what, what we don't have or don't be focusing on like what sucks it's just turn up for what's right or it's turn up for what what makes you feel cool you know what i'm saying what makes you feel in the zone okay um that's but like I'm, I'm i'm definitely a genre switching ass nigga bro like i can i can i can definitely take it to lanes that people didn't think i could go like i spit but like spitting is only so much to me like yeah. I feel like music has so many different lanes and different ears that people listen to. Don't box so, yourself in. Yeah, do everything. No. Do everything. That's the great thing that you know we we were also kind of like fortunate to learn from X is like never just stick to one thing. You know, it could be a strong mm -hmm. thing. Your rapping could be great, and it could grab attention. But don't forget, you you still like doing all this other bullshit. Mhm. Mm and you mm -hmm. do it well, so you got to remember that. And you gotta love what you do, bro. Like, oh no! If you're, yeah. not, if you're not loving what you're making, if you're not oh. loving it, the moment. Oh, dude! I delete videos. I delete. I delete old. Vi I mean, I I I will say I delete old videos that that were just like kind of ass because I realized like, eh, they're ass and pointless and that not timely anymore. But like, no, anything I put out, I do it because like I love it. Anything mm -hmm. that's out there on my YouTube channel now, I put it out, and whether it's six or four years old or whatever it may be, I fucking, I loved it then, and I still love it now. I've, I would have taken it down if I didn't love it. So, so yeah, exactly. You gotta love what you fucking put out there. Facts, and uh, you know, like life is life is a gamble, bro. And like, Shit. this is something that like I've also realized with music. It's like how much are you like willing to put in to like achieve? Like how much are you willing to sacrifice to mm -hmm. achieve? Mm -hmm. Like that's what it takes to evolve. It's like you gotta sacrifice. And if that's time, that's time. If you gotta sacrifice like relationships. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it financial every Yeah, financial I mean, are you willing to how much pain are you willing to endure to to succeed? How much how I much are you willing to give up? At a dream, at a dream, for for a dream, give up everything. Mm hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So I I agree, me. I agree. Uh, we're we're rounding up about uh, an hour and thirty five minutes. I think that's pretty healthy enough. Uh, yeah, that's cool with me, bro. I I I do, dude. I just liked our conversation. Let me just say, let's let's wrap this up with like good. Decent first episode, in my opinion. Uh, I at oh, least yeah. think... I don't know how consistent I'll be doing these. Uh, I'm going to call you back for more of these if you're ever interested. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm with it whenever. I, but, uh, you know, the uh, the podcast, like like I said, like I don't know. I'm not going to have a set schedule. I'm not going to fucking like, tell you. That, that's what's kind of shitty about me. I wish I could have a set schedule, but... I got too much going on in fucking real world where I got to make sure that my world is like still okay as well. So 
Mm-hmm. So, but for a real world to fucking work out, I need to keep fucking making money and figure that out. Uh, which, you know, I guess to fucking, you know, I guess I guess I'll just wrap this up here. I mean, like, I didn't want to go on anymore. I I had another topic, but it's gonna range us to the two hour mark, and I'm not trying to put a two hour video out. <laughs> nah, you're good, bro. You're good. Did you already? Are you still recording? Yeah, we're still recording right now. So. Okay, yeah. So, oh, um, yeah, shit, let everyone bro. know your socials. Let them know where to find you. I'll leave it in the description below or on the screen right here somewhere. Yeah, but you give me a just be true on Insta, Twitter. Um, I go by Trillion, so that's like look what to look for. Um, really, bro. I'm just I just I appreciate you for having me on this shit, bro. Just like the rawness and just like the openness that. I can give. Oh, no, no, dog. We like, homies. We homies. We just can't. Yeah, you know? facts, so, facts, facts. Like, it's raw, me. bro. Like, it's raw, man. Like, love. All love. All love to you. Ain't bro. no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm excited because, like, you know, like I said, we got we got other things in common and, you know, we, we see a lot, like, on, on different levels. So that's kind of, like, why I like talking to you. And it's like, it feels a lot easier to talk to you, you know, like, I can't have many conversations with a lot of people like this, at least on a relatable level, like, you know, mm -hmm. like on, on things that we see, like, on a deeper meaning sometimes, and I can't yeah, with yeah. those people, but, like, you know, whenever we're so in tune with everything else around us and ourselves at the same time, like, and looking towards the next step in the future, like, you just, like, your minds are, like, like that fucking meme, like with the fucking laser beams with the two eyes pointing at each other. It's fucking mm -hmm. just on point. So, right. so right. yeah, man, I, I appreciate the conversation. I appreciate you coming on. Um, you know, Bro, we're going we're gonna to look back on this year in like, shit, I'm not even going to say a year. I said we're going to look back on this home in like six months, summertime. And we're just going to be like, remember, the, like, remember that time it snowed in and shit? And we, we sat back and had the podcast and like, yeah. look, look, look how far it came. Yeah. Like, Six months straight up. I'm a, I'm a fucking I'm gonna try to stay more consistent. Uh, hopefully six months from now we can uh, do it again. Hopefully I'll have uh, more episodes up and shit like that. But yeah, big shout out to Trillion. Uh, thank you for coming yeah. on, man. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. Yeah, appreciate y'all.